Hello guys, welcome back again uh, to the second part of CTFD video. So in the last video, we have uh, looked at how to set up uh, CTFD and how to do basic configuration and editing challenges and all. In this video, I'll, I'll tell you how actually you can uh, configure mail and uh, how you can actually uh, set a subdomain for this particular uh, instance that we have set up with uh, this particular IP. So it is not a good idea to actually uh, uh, give your IP to the participants and from there they need to uh, so uh, like login to your CTFD instance, it's not a, not a good idea because the, the direct IP access is never a good idea. They can DDoS your platform, they can do a hell lot of things. So in that case, I'll be using uh, a domain that I own. Uh, so my domain is in uh, like uh, is in uh, Cloudflare and I'll be using Cloudflare to uh, achieve this. So for that, uh, what I need is I need uh, this particular IP, the IP that uh, my CTFD is running on. I need to go to my uh, Cloudflare instance and I need to go to DNS records where all my records are uh, stored. In this case, I need to add an A type record and I need to specify the subdomain. For example, I want to give it as CTFD, uh, CTF or maybe CTFD and I want to specify the IP as something like this. Uh, okay, I think I pasted the URL. Okay, once this is done, make sure that it is proxied and uh, so basically it will protect your environment uh, with the basic plan that you have. This is completely free. You can you can add your domain, you can add those MX records and all. You can follow the steps. So accordingly, you can uh, set it up. Once done, you can uh, configure this. So now you have to save it. And now if you go to your browser and if you go to ctfd.diviner.in, see, I am now able to access uh, this particular CTF instance uh, with my uh, like custom domain. So now, as you can see, this is also a secure connection and uh, it's, it is in HTTPS. So one part is done. In the next part, I will be showing you how actually you can use Mailgon uh, to actually create, uh, add your domain and send this uh, registration confirmation or any kind of pocket password confirmation, whatever you want. So let me log into the portal, CTFD portal. Okay, I don't want to save this. I have to go to admin portal, admin panel and in config you can come to email and here you need to set up your mail server so you can set up a mail server uh, with all these details but i'll be using mailgun to do this uh, so mail from address for example if you want to send it from for example uh, ctf or something like what is your ctf name whatever it will be from that mail you can customize that and you can just have to you just have to uh, submit your mailgun api base url and mailgun api key so i have created an account with mailgun and uh, you need to add a custom domain in this case uh, before that you need to make sure that uh, you have a plan for it so there is a free plan uh, there are two types of free plan in mailgun so one will be the free plan uh, where you are not adding any kind of uh, any kind of your uh, credit card information or debit card information in that case you will not be able to add an uh, custom domain but if you are going with uh, adding your payment details like credit card numbers and all you'll be getting a foundation trial. So in this case, you'll be getting 5,000 emails per uh, month and five days of log retention and these things are, will be there free of cost. So you can use it uh, pretty much simple. Now, if you go to the dashboard or if you go to the sendings part, there is a domain section. In this section, you'll be, you'll be able to see this add new domain. You have to click on that. You have to set a domain. Like for example, I'm just using ctfd.diviner.in and I have to add domain. So this is successfully done uh, for that what i need to do is i need to make some changes in my dns record uh, that is in cloudflare so i have to add a txt record that is that should have as host name as ctfd.divina.in and i have to enter this value let us quickly do once all this uh, has been done we have to go to mailgun and uh, to just click on verify dns record as you can see there are a lot of records that has uh, that has been verified uh, it will take some time now it, it this this particular thing will take some 24 to 48 hours but this will not affect your uh, settings and all so as you can see i've got tick, uh, like uh, everything corrected I've, I've set all these things if you refresh here you will be getting your domain uh, verified here and uh, so to send the email what you have to do is we have to go to uh, you can see like uh, you can see what, uh, how many emails that uh, you have sent uh, from this domain or how many emails are dropped so these things can be seen here uh, to send the uh, email what you have to do is we have to grab the smtp credential for that what i will do first i need to copy this uh, mail server i have to go to email now i have to specify this email server uh, okay so this this will be the email which will uh, be used to send the email 
So in that case, I will use suppose for example ctf at ctfd.demano.in and in mail server address, I will use smtp mailgun.org. Uh, for username, we have to use this user, or you can create a new user from here. That is also possible. And we, had, we will use one uh, server username and password. So for that, uh, what we need to do is, uh, okay, all right. I think this is the port. So sorry. So this will be the uh, the port will be uh, 587. So let me just this 587 is port. Username is postmaster at ctfd.demano.in. So when we configure this domain, uh, you'll be getting uh, the password from domains. But in this case, let me just reset password it will just generate a new password as you can see here i just have to copy it okay as you can see this uh, password is now it, it regenerated a password and i've copied it so what i will do is i will go to admin panel i'll import the password and i will update this so this is uh, done from our end but what we have to do is to uh, actually make it work we have to restart the container that we have so for that we have to go to the server that we had let me just increase the font size. Okay, so we need to go to ctfd docker compose restart. This will restart all the containers and uh, once it is restarted, uh, we are uh, good to go. When we will register any kind of user, uh, we will get a option. So give it some time. Uh, okay, it is done. It is done now. Now, uh, one more thing I would like to inform you that for example if you want to give uh, verify emails so now it was uh, like let me make it enable once you enable it so for example if you are registering any any user will be registering they will get a confirmation email after uh, confirming the email then they will be able to log into their account so let me just uh, open a new incognito tab okay so i'll open ctfd uh, here and i'll use a temp uh, temporary mail account to actually create the account so let me give uh, once we need to register for example i'll give it test the email will be this i'll take this email i'll import it test and once you submit uh, you will see that uh, we will get a confirmation email uh, in this particular email that we have used just refresh and uh, See, we, we have got an uh, email from ctf at ctfd.tvano.in and it says the same thing that uh, is configured in our template. So this is pretty much how you can actually uh, do all this setup. You can also, once you confirm this email, for example, let me click on it. Once you confirm it, uh, confirm you are logged in. If you want to reset your email as well, uh, let me go back to the mail. Now, if I want to go to uh, like reset the password, what we need to do is we need to import the email so you are getting a successful registered for uh, this ctf also successful message and if i just give email again so it will send a reset email uh, reset password email to uh, this mailbox so this is how actually you can uh, do all these things uh, set up email how to configure this and th this is pretty much yeah now you got a password reset request as well so this thing you can do and you can explore more as well like uh, for example if you go to uh, config and email you can change these templates you can uh, make templates as per your requirement and you can change the description as well so this is uh, all i had for this video and i think uh, you like the first part and the second part i have covered these things some points that needs to be noted uh, if you are using a real life ctf you need to have a dedicated uh, redis cache server so that you don't get a lot of uh, traffic in your main ctf uh, instance so that these things you can uh, have a look and uh, i hope it, uh, this video helped you uh, if in any way if it helped you please like to subscribe and uh, okay i'll see you in the next video thanks